but there's a lot that goes on in this episode. Um, I enjoy Robot being kind of a creepy dude and sneaking up on the Maulers. Um, I also enjoy Black Samson kind of uh, going off on Rex and Monster Girl, you know, telling them like that's not how they act in the field because it leads to innocent people dying. Mm -hmm. um it's, it's probably like for him such a i know they don't really explore his character that much because there's hundreds of characters but i mean he has an interesting position in that he worked with he used to be a guardian with like mm -hmm. uh like the heavy hitters and now he's with a bunch of teenagers uh who are kind of just reckless and immature um so i just imagine that would that would really frustrate him yeah i i like him as a character i don't think my dog likes him very much though yeah. but i mean i think he's like a solid character i don't there's nothing about him that i'm like no. Ugh. you know who else is a solid character uh titan okay. This guy can, uh, I don't know, turns into rock. Yeah, what um, What do you think of that power? I mean, it, it's cool and, and useful and like, it's kind of street level, like crime and stuff, whether you're a criminal or you wanted to be a hero. Um, obviously the power levels in the show are so extreme that he seems a little like a little weak compared to a lot of other characters um but i feel like for his personal life and just kind of looking out for his daughter and mm -hmm. you know it's, it's a cool power that you know you're just like a tough tough guy that you know until someone teleports battle beast into the arena yeah but mostly it's i mean it's not bad. I wonder if it's like if he feels really heavy, like moving like that. Oh yeah. Huh. But um he's also he gets a lot of they explore his character a lot in this episode. Yeah. I think that's like one of my favorite moments of the episode is just like meeting Titan, who's voiced by Mahershala Ali, and just seeing like his life. And like when we're first introduced to him, we're like, oh, he kind of seems like a bad guy. But mm. then we we learn about his situation and we're like, oh, like he's kind of just a bad guy given like the situation he's in. Right. But then we get to the end of the episode and I'm like, I don't really know who this guy is anymore. Yeah. He, I mean, he's definitely like Nolan. Yeah. He's, Mark. He's kind of sneaky. Yeah. I just like, I had so much hope for him, I guess, in the beginning. Right. Like, it, it's framed in a way that he's only doing this bad stuff to like help his family and to like earn money and to just like pay back his debt to Machine Head. Um, but then the end of the episode happens and I'm just confused. I know. And we, and we really don't. We haven't really seen him since in any oh. substantial way. Um, so that's just yet another character that's kind of planted early and then they'll give us more of that plot line when they when they do. Yeah. Well, and like the thing is like he hasn't he he like yeah, he burned down <laughs> some people's apartments, but then he also like helped them by like giving them money afterwards so it's 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 yeah. an interesting an interesting character for sure and so i hope eventually we see him again and we get more clarity as to like what kind of character he is and and how he serves the story yeah. rather than like instead of just bringing mark to this cool fight where he nearly dies <laughs> but yeah uh, Titan, what do you think of him 
Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a cool character. Like, I'm interested to see more of him just because he's, um, he ha he's already decently nuanced. We just haven't seen that much of him, and I think exploring more of him, you could see that more. Um, I mean, he I don't necessarily think he's a character that like has to come back. Um, based on kind of how we've seen the show unfold since, like. If they forgot about the plot line or decided not to revisit it, I don't think it would. I think it still works like for this episode and for Mark's growth in this episode and this season. But yeah, um, I imagine we'll we'll see more of him. Yeah, even if it's just like a like a brief moment in another episode, I just want to know like mm -hmm. like does he end up being like a good guy? Right. Does he just, like go back to a normal life with his family and he just like lives in this penthouse kind of building I don't know it's interesting but I love um the moment where they point out that um Titan's daughter goes to the same like community center that Amber volunteers at I think that was a really good like follow through of the plot right yeah um what did, what did you think about the amber and mark stuff slash eve stuff this episode yeah i the first thing that comes to mind is i loved the moment where mark is like texting amber while fighting some character in the beginning and like we can see mm -hmm. the text bubbles popping mm -hmm. up i i just i really love that moment because it's very like accurate to like how we text in real life like we delete things or like we hyphenate things or we like use silly emojis so yeah. I did like that moment between them I mean I guess it was mo mostly mostly just Mark being funny um mm. but we really see like Amber and Mark get into like their first kind of argument and Amber gives him like an ultimatum yeah but yeah I mean you do gotta kind of respect her but i also think i know like fans gave her a lot of heat for like this season but i think season two i mean i think the general consensus was that her character just gets a lot more becomes maybe more likable because she's just a bit more chill with the whole superhero thing um but as, as much as i clown on her uh as much as i shit on her um like i definitely understand like her where she's coming from like this episode and this whole season um can't really fault her for kind of reacting how she does and um but i think it you know if you were a superhero and you were trying to have a love life it'd probably be easier to have a love life with someone who is in the same field as you. Um, mm -hmm. I, I wonder. Know. Duplicate, Shrink and Ray. Um, yeah. uh, it's like proton e. Cellular, like, yeah. something. Yeah, maybe, maybe Mark should look into that one. <laughs>